Today, we're gonna to talk about my favorite no logo running gear. Whenever I do a running shoe review, my preference is to be able to match the logos on the shoe to the logos to any of the clothes that I'm wearing. And that's not because I like being all matchy-matchy. In fact, my personal preference is to mix things up and not have everything all from the same brand. But when I'm doing a running shoe review, I generally like to make things match or at least not have competitors in the same video. Uh, I'm hoping if I can get the attention of any of those brands, hopefully they'll wanna work with me and I could show that, look, I can follow a brand message or I can at least avoid pitting your competitor in the video about your shoe, unless I'm doing a direct comparison, comparing the two shoes. Uh, and so that's the reason why for me, I like to have all the same brand stuff, but because I'm starting to review a much wider range of shoes these days, it's becoming a little harder to have all matching outfits for every single brand of shoe that I come across. And so for me, it became very apparent that the better way to do things was to have running gear that doesn't have a logo on it or that is uh, a little bit more on the generic side. And I know for a lot of you, having no logos on your apparel could be quite a bonus and might be something that you're specifically looking for. So hopefully this video is going to be the exact type of thing that can help you guys out. So for me, I'll start with the long sleeve. The long sleeves that I generally like to run in that are no logo or for the purposes of making a shoe review uh, are either race shirts. Now those will sometimes have logos on it, but for the most part, they're not. They're just from, they're printing on a generic shirt. And so that's always easy for me and something that I frequently do in the review videos that I put out is that I'm wearing race apparel. If I'm not wearing race apparel, for long sleeves, one of the things that I like to wear is a long sleeve shirt from Uniqlo. Now Uniqlo isn't necessarily known for performance apparel, but they do have an active wear line. What I like about the Uniqlo logo is that it's uh, hard to even see when you do see it. Uh, and it's usually not in a very prominent place. The long sleeve that I have is probably one of my favorite no logo long sleeve shirts to run in. It's very thin. It's got like these micro perforations that I'm not sure actually do anything in terms of helping keep you cool or wick sweat, but I think they look great. Um, the other long sleeve shirt that I've been enjoying lately is one from East Bay. Now East Bay uh, is something a brand, is a company that I've been familiar with ever since I was in high school. Uh, they have a long sleeve uh, shirt that's there that I've been really enjoying running in. Uh, I don't think I have any running footage of me in it because I got it like kind of in the middle of winter this year. Uh, and I use it frequently as a base layer. Now, the material on that particular shirt is a little bit thicker, so it's kind of in between like a regular long sleeve tech shirt and a compression shirt. So it's a little bit thicker and a little bit stretchy. It does have a logo, but it's kind of on your left hip. So if you're tucking it into pants because you're layering up and trying to keep some of the cold out from your waist area or from your torso, uh, you're not gonna ever really see it. And anytime that I put it on camera, it's usually not that visible. Now the next category of shirt that I'll go to is short sleeve shirts and that's what I'm wearing right now. This is one that I just recently picked up and again, cause it's winter time, I haven't really had a chance to run with this outside. I think I do have some footage of myself with it running on the treadmill. But this is a shirt that I picked up from runningwarehouse.com and uh, it, it has no logos on it whatsoever. I believe the, the name of the brand is Augusta or Augustana, one of those two. Great news about it is that it's only 10 bucks uh, if you wanna pick one up right now. I think it's on, I got it, I think when I got it, it was $15, uh, but it's on sale right now for $10. So an amazing price, comes in a whole bunch of colors, and I like this Heather kind of print where it's not just a solid color, but there's a little bit of like visual texture, not literal texture, but visual texture to it. Uh, and it's a, a really great, just generic, running shirt. Now short sleeve shirts uh, are also something that you'll frequently get as kind of a race 
uh, goodie. And so a lot of times if I need to run in a short sleeve shirt that doesn't have a logo on it, I'll reach for a race shirt there as well. So a couple of different options. Um, in terms of pants, now these are uh, an interesting category for me. My absolute favorite running long pants. Uh, are these pants that I've been wearing and you've seen them if you know what to look for you've seen them in tons of videos just over the last two months uh, they're from TCA it's a brand that I've gotten to know via Amazon uh, the long pants that they have are my favorite to run in uh, they're very tight from the knee down uh, so almost like a tight a running tight or a legging from the knee down very comfortable but a little bit roomier uh, from like the knees up. So super comfortable. So I like to wear them just when I'm lounging around the house or having a little bit of a lazy day. Anytime where I don't have to put actual pants on, those are some of the pants that I wanna put on. Although I sometimes have to hold myself back because those are also really great pants to run in. The material is great and they have zip up pockets. And so when I'm running, I can put my phone in there. It bounces around a little bit, but with the zipper, I know it's not gonna bounce completely out. And also I can put my keys in the other pocket I'm notorious for losing stuff, especially while running. And so having a zip up pocket where the keys can go has been really great. Now these started out with a yellow logo kind of in the mid thigh, right where your left pocket would be. Uh, but after a handful of washes, that yellow logo fell off. And so I love it when that kind of stuff happens. Uh, and so now there's kind of a black silhouette of where it used to be, where it says TCA. And sometimes if you look really carefully in the videos, you might be able to pick that up. But for the most part, it's just a generic pair of black running pants. And I really love them. And the best part is they're only like $25. An amazing pair of pants. They perform exceedingly well. Uh, if it wasn't for the fact that I've already collected a whole bunch of running pants, uh, that are perfectly usable for me now, I'd go pick out two or three more pairs of these. And anytime I'm thinking about buying new running pants, I have to really compare it against these TCAs. Like, is it worth 60 bucks uh, to have a logo from this other brand that's on there? Uh, or the technology that's, you and I know you're not just buying the logo that's on there. Is it worth the technology in those other pants when I have these TCA ones that I could just buy a whole bunch of other pairs of? I absolutely love them. The next category is shorts. Now shorts are a little bit harder. And the one thing I haven't found yet is a really great pair of running shorts that have a liner in it that don't have a logo on it. And the ones that I have found are like cross country racing uh, shorts, which I'm not interested in like a two inch short. Uh, I guess not yet. <laughs> Maybe I will later, but not right now. Uh, and certainly not in the winter. I'm not interested in that. But I have found a whole bunch of really great shorts that I can wear over tights that I really like. One is the Oliver's All Over Short. Uh, that is probably my favorite pair of shorts I've ever worn. It's really expensive. It was $68. And of all the list of all the things that you're, I'm talking about today, that is the only product that was sent to me that I didn't personally buy with my own money. Uh, Oliver's, they sent that to me, uh, I think last summer. Uh, maybe early last summer. It's a longer short that has great pockets in it. There's a divider inside the pocket where I could put my phone in and run in that short, even though it is a longer short and it won't bounce around. So I really enjoy that. And because it's not lined, uh, I can run with tights underneath it and it's a great length and a great color, uh, the one that I have, to pair with tights and shorts if you're gonna run uh, with that look, which I tend to do when the temperatures are just above the freezing mark. Uh, here in Chicago. Uh, the other pair of shorts that I like, it's a little bit cheaper. I just recently picked them up. Again, going back to the well with the TCA brand. Uh, that is a pair of pants that is much lighter. And when you put your phone in there, they certainly bounce around. So the, whatever the weighting is, the, pack, the pocket technology in the Oliver short uh, isn't quite there. So it's a little bit distracting to put a phone in there, but the pockets are zip up. So at least to the extent that things are bouncing around, they're not gonna bounce out. Uh, I just recently picked those up, maybe like a week or two ago. Those are only $18 that, though, and so uh, quite a bargain and a little bit shorter of a short. So if the Oliver's all over short are too long, the TCA is one that I would certainly take a look at. Now, the last category of uh, no logo clothing that I'll cover for today is tights. I finally found a pair and we're going back to Uniqlo for this one. Now this Uniqlo, you can see the logo on it. It's on the left ankle 
gold just uh, at the end of the of the tights. Uh, very subtle. It's only like two. It's like two rectangles next to each other. If you don't even know what you're looking for, you're definitely not going to see it. They're not my absolute favorite pair of tights, but in terms of tights, they do the job. They're a little bit thin. Uh, but the good thing is for me and the kinds of things that I need to do, they don't have any logos on them, so I don't have to worry about. That's been a really nice find for me. I, I just found that very recently, uh, and I've been pretty happy with that. And the best thing about those tights are that they were just $15, so super cheap. Uh, I don't know that I would just run in just those tights, like say it's a warmer day. I'm not a full length tights and no shorts on top kind of guy. If I'm wearing full length tights, I want to wear shorts on top of them. I don't know that if you even if you like that look, uh, I don't know that these are going to be the right tights for that. I think they might be a little bit thin. Um, but in terms of running with shorts on top, these did really well for me. Now, the one category of clothing that I haven't really mentioned is running hats. And my absolute favorite running hat is one that's actually from Under Armour. And it's one of those hats that you pull over and then you could fold it up. I never understood the fold up. So I just folded it down. And then the Under Armour logo then is, instead of being on the outside, is on the inside. And so you never really see it. It's the black hat with the gray trim on it. If you ever see me in that hat, that's actually an Under Armour hat. I'll wear it pretty much any time I need to wear a winter hat. Uh, but don't want to show a logo because any of the other ones that I found just aren't that exciting to me yet. So that's another category where I'm still kind of looking, but I'm not looking that hard because I have a lot of other good hat options that I can usually uh, work with. The other one that I tend to use a lot in terms of hats is one that I picked up from Saucony. Uh, it's a little bit tight. It's a tighter fit hat, so it's not my favorite. But on the one side, it's just stripes. The other side, it's like little, very tiny polka dots. And on that hat, the Saucony logo, and there used to be, it's a reversible hat, and uh, there are Saucony logos on both sides that are reflective, which has been a problem for me filming-wise. Um, so I used to wear it with the, the Saucony logo like back here, like my low, the left-hand side of the back of my head, because that's an area that I just don't film a lot, I think. Uh, but after so many washes, those logos have also fallen off. So I'm pretty happy about that. So those are kind of my two hat options that I usually work with. In the summertime, if I need to run in something that doesn't have a logo, I'll usually go with a race hat or uh, when I ran, the last time I ran uh, for Salute Inc., my favorite charity, they gave me a hat to run with. And so whenever you see the white hat, it's got the white hat and the Salute Inc. logo up front. That's usually because I'm looking for a hat that doesn't have a logo on it. So that's all my favorite no logo gear. Hopefully you find it helpful. I'll try to post links to as much of this stuff as I can in the description. Uh, some of the stuff like the Uniqlo long sleeve, I can't find anymore. Uh, and so maybe it's because I bought it a while ago and I think that they no longer are selling that. Uh, but I'll put as many links as I can so you can get an idea. But overall, now I've put out some of the brands that I tend to look for whenever I'm searching for stuff. So hopefully you can check out some of those brands. Uh, even though know, they're not very well known, you can check them out uh, as brands that I generally trust for some running gear. Let me know in the comments what your favorite no logo brands are if you have them, because uh, I'm always looking for more because it's just much more versatile for me and uh, not the running that I do, but the other things related to running that I do, uh, if that makes sense. Um, before I go for today, I wanna talk about today's charity runner for the day. Today's charity runner for the day is Walza S. Uh, he has a YouTube channel himself, Walza S Vlogs. I'll post a link in the description uh, to that. He's gonna be running the 2019 Blackpool Marathon for the Terrence Higgins Trust, the UK's leading HIV and sexual health charity. Uh, I've donated $10 and I will post a link in the description in case you would like to learn more. I'm always looking for more charity runners. So if you are a charity runner or if you know of a charity runner, send that link information my way. I'd love to hear about what you guys are doing, give you $10 and spotlight you at the end of a video. That's all I have for today, everybody. Thanks so much for watching. If you don't see me in the comments right away, it's because I'm not currently able to have access to internet. Uh, even though you are watching this video, I made it ahead of time and I scheduled it. So I apologize if I can't get back to you right away. But as soon as I get back to a regular internet connection, I promise that I will get back to each and every one of you. Uh, thanks so much for watching and I will see you guys tomorrow. Yo, what's going on?